It's going to be close. It's going to be very close. Nate Cicero with a big push. And here comes Weston Workman. We haven't called his name very often yet today. He's getting a big push from Celine Rolland, trying to head to the front of the field once again. A spot he's occupied quite a few times so far this weekend, whether it be in practice or in the race yesterday. But he's just gotten a warning for continuous contact on the banking. This lap and one more. It will be the white flag next time around. And we've still got a dozen cars in with a shout of the victory. Big move for the number 83, Nate Cicero. Dives to the inside of the track and takes over the lead from Tyler Gonzalez. Gonzalez now knows he's not going to pull away, so he gave up the inside there and is positioning himself in the pack. That was really interesting to see Gonzalez just ease slightly to the right and almost forced Nate Cicero to take the point and through behind him uh, went Jared Thomas as well. So it's McCombe, Magalia Racing's Nate Cicero that leads from JTR Motorsport, the JT and JTR as Jared Thomas, then Saito Motorsport Group, the white car in third place, the dark coloured car in fourth place is Western Workman for BSI. And what a run it is for the rookie. He was there yesterday, but couldn't convert. Didn't get himself into the right position. He's the best of the rookies so far. Noah Harmon is in that lead group as well in the number 99. Watch out for him. First, fifth, seventh, and eighth are all McCombie McAleer cars. That is the team most represented within the top 10 right now. Can they work together on this white flag lap to try and get to the front? Well, we know that if you're leading coming out of the Lamar chicane, it means nothing. Big push by Gresham Wagner, and that's forced. John Jadouan, his teammate. John Jadouan onto the high side. He'll have to try and drop in behind the number 99 of Harmon, which he does do, but Johnson was already there. Oh, my goodness me, that was all a little untidy. The white flag is out for round two of the Wheel and Mazda MX-5 Cup for 2024. Three and a half miles of non-stop action to come. We've had one safety car period when the Wheel and MX-5 safety car had to take the field under control after some pushing coming out of turn four, caused a two-car incident. Could have been much worse, but right now, it is Nate Cicero that leads the motor race with Jared Thomas in second place. Then Western Workman in the dark purple car. Then a little gap back to the black car. Number five of Gresham Wagner. He's under pressure from Tyler Gonzalez in the white and green car. Tyler's got a 10 second penalty. Throws it in from a long way back. And it's hammered by the number 22 of Fletcher. And Jared Thomas is out. The guy who has won the second race at Daytona for the last two consecutive years will not be maintaining that streak. He was taken off the track by that push. And Weston Workman also with damage. Well, that was Tyler Gonzalez going down the inside and realizing he couldn't go any further and did exactly the right thing. But Jeremy Fletcher just did not break at all. And all of a sudden, we've got a break at the front of the field. Tyler Gonzalez has got an opportunity here to undo some of the damage of that 10-second penalty. Celine Roland in second, Gonzalez in third. All kinds of rubbing going on and racing going on. At the front of the field, Nate Cicero then leads it for McCombie McAleer racing into the Le Mans chicane for the final time. He's on his own. We saw this yesterday. I'm not sure there's enough going on. It's side by side again. That's another accident. And this time it's Aaron Johnson who's going to go back down. Tyler Gonzalez doesn't know this is going on behind him, but this is giving him positions because he's got the 10 second penalty. He's been pushed into second. Nate Cicero ahead of this two car train that's coming are they coming quick enough Fletcher goes to the inside Cicero's got enough Cicero is going to take it McCombie McAleer racing will take race two it is Fletcher on the inside outside was Gonzalez who takes in it's Fletcher what? Fletcher got it on the line Gonzalez's 10 second penalty has pushed him down to ninth marvellous stuff that is a great result for Gonzalez because when that 10 second penalty was applied and we were coming out of the safety car, he was in 22nd or 23rd position and he's finished up inside the top nine on corrected time. It didn't really matter whether Jeremy Fletcher got him on the line. It was where he was in 
relation to everyone else behind and that rubbing and the cars going around has helped Gonzalez to a handful of points. But Nate Cicero it is who's taken it. He'd broken away after a, an incident at the West Horseshoe. Jeremy Fletcher down the inside and all kinds of pushing and barging and bumping. But I'm pretty certain it was the 20. Well, actually, I think the 22 got help. Now I've seen I that think the, the 22 got help as well from John Jodwan, possibly from the 39, 39. Or from Celine Rolland, who came through a bunch of cars to make up a ton of positions, finishing in the third spot. I was nervous for Cicero with such a lead coming out of the Lamar chicane after it didn't work yesterday. Huge incident for Aaron Johnson. And John Jodwan. And John Jodwan. Aaron ending up sideways. And this was all benefiting Tyler Gonzalez because they were dropping time. Uh, we might not have heard the last of this. Race Control are looking at the incident at Turn 5, the West Horseshoe, and coming out of the Le Mans chicane.